Truck is XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. All right, welcome back to another episode of Persona Five. Why do I keep thinking of Persona Five Q? Whatever. Yeah. All right, let us begin with the calling card. Let yes. us do this. Tomorrow's the big day. Let's give it our all, guys. Good evening. I'm sorry for a short notice, but can we meet up? I'd like to talk to you. If you have time, it would be make me quite happy. I'll be waiting in front of the fountain. Fountain? Of where? In front of us? To the fountain we go. It actually looks great at night, to be honest. The fountain. Here we go. I'm sorry to call you out so late. Thanks for being here. I wanted to talk to you about Mari-san. It's strange how I couldn't remember Mari-san until now. Even when Hasegawa-san said her name, it didn't quite occur to me who she was. But the moment she called me Haru-chan, suddenly, it felt like a lid popped open in my mind. My memories came pouring out. I remembered all these things about my childhood, about Mari-san. How could I forget someone I loved so much? I think what happened with my father affected me more than I realized. All the times we spent together, from the moment he passed away, I must have suppressed those memories deep within my heart. At some point, I got used to hiding things away, and I even forgot a good friend like Mari-san. Thanks for understanding. To be honest, I feel like I was running from the past again. <sighs> a long time ago, I remember tagging along with Mari-san and my father during a golfing trip. I was so happy running around that I ended up tripping and falling. Then of course I started crying. Then all of a sudden, Mari-san came up to me and said, Stop crying and get back up. And that shocked me at first because I always thought of her as an extremely gentle person. But because I knew she was so kind, I managed to stop crying and eventually got back up. I remember thinking Mari-san would never say anything out of place. I trusted her completely. At that point, Mari-san hugged me and said, No matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Never forget that. <laughs> can you believe it? I didn't quite understand back then, but I think I do now. There's more to good character than kindness. Being good means dealing with the bad in front of you. It means to take a stand, even when all you want to do is run away. To realize nothing will change if you keep ignoring reality. <sighs> I have you and the Phantom Thieves to thank for that. It's too late to save my father. But it's not too late for Mari-san. This time, I can change things around. I want to tell her exactly what she told me all those years ago. Yes. Thanks for hearing me out. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my absolute best. But for now, good night. upset over Mariko Hyodo. I don't have a heart, so it's hard to understand. Why do people try so hard for others? I wonder if I'll ever know. Even virtual assistants feel down when they don't understand something. It may seem like a simple concept to you, but to me, it makes my mind go... <laughs> what? I am humanity's companion. I am here to learn and grow.
Good day, everyone. Are we ready to make Sapporo of Paradise's purest snow? Then remember, on election day, please vote Mariko Hiodo. What is that? A calling card? Whoa, it's real. What's going on? Mariko Hyodo, the false empress with a frozen heart. You are a cold manipulator who treats people as tools to be discarded. We find this unforgivable and will end your reign of abuse. In fact, we will take back the desires you stole this very night. This is... Say they're going to steal my desires? What a bald-faced lie! Those desires are mine, and mine alone! As long as I'm the monarch, I won't let anyone stop me! Very well. I was just beginning to work up an appetite. I wonder what you'll taste like. Perhaps I should gobble you up and find out! Mari-san, it'll all be over soon. Well, let's see. We had lust, we had pride, we had glut, and now we have gluttony. From the way it looks of it, plus the freaking knife and fork. So that explains everything as to what the heck that was all about. Another sin. Alright, anytime now, game. Alright, more copyright, because next tone, screw them. Um, let's see. Uh, take out Makoto just in case. She may have something against us. We'll throw in on just in case because this is a nice world. Uh, Let's go for go. it. We need to change Marisan's heart. Well, let's get started. Where the heck are we? Focus. Run. Can I fast forward this? At this point, it's it's just becoming common knowledge at that point. Oh, this is. I can see it. Eh, <laughs> nice try. Run. Going up. Where the heck am I? Let us begin. Wait, do we have to go through all of that again? There was no shortcut, isn't there? Oh, never mind. This is the exact same place. Wait, we're here to kick ass and. What? Yoda's distorted form. What do you think we want? You had best. Uh, best not get in my way. Uh, oh, I'm almost there. A few more votes and I'll win re election. This is wrong, Mari san. Those votes you gathered by twisting the people's hearts are worthless. And if you don't stop your tyranny, your staff will collapse one by one. I get why it's hard for you to trust people, but you still have to treat them with decency. Ah! You shut your impudent mouth! I've done nothing wrong! I will wring out every ounce of corruption from my staff by working them! 
them into the ground. I'll silence all charlatans who betray me. And I will consume every last boat in the city. Whether these people agree with me or not, only then can I build a safe haven, a radiant snow city that sparkles like winter. Listen to him. When you take away someone's desire, you rob them of their agency, the ability to make their own decisions. So what good does it do to turn your loyal citizens into mindless drones? Isn't it better to let them arrive at their own conclusions? To follow their own hearts? How dare you lecture me! Good job, Muir. You tell her. Mari-san, say goodbye to the countless desires you stole. Because Beauty Thief and the Phantom Thieves are about to take them back! Honestly, <clears throat> They're all in my way! This is the last straw! You've made me so very hungry. Still have time, and the main course! What the heck? She ate the table? She ate the table. She just ate the table. Shut up. Wait, don't you have something? Go! Well, I knew she. Oh, what the heck? How did we all get up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're the only one with the curse attack, so we gotta do the thing. Get out of there, Chief! Yours. Meteorama. What happened to you guys? Out. Morgana, you better do the thing. Out. Except we don't have the thing. To all allies, plus... Go! 
go. Panthers is right there. We're fighting the belly. The belly of the beast. I get it now. Showtime, baby. Would you care to join us? Dude, she's been like the only thing we could sing all day with the mark with the uh, showtime. <laughs> There's like everyone's just chilling there. Dodge it! It's time! One more. Do it, do it, do it, break it. Thank you. Next phase. Technical around here. All out attack. Sure. Uh, seafood ball. SP, SP, SP. Ega. To you. What heaters? Master. Uh, where's the thing? I didn't even see no freaking. Can I run? Why was this here? Burner already. Thank you. What 
My question is, why was there a heater in here in the first place? as you saw fit. Am I right? As the mayor, I know very well that little girl's death was ultimately my fault. But my staff betrayed me, all for their insatiable greed. I thought I could leave that awful position behind. Unfortunately, it wasn't as simple as that. Had I gone, I'd only be replaced by greedy scum. That's why I never step down. In this world, it's either eat or be eaten. And with circumstances so cruel, I decided I'd be the one doing the eating. Even if every last one of my votes were false, at least I could use them to make the world a better place. But if I was replaced as mayor, who would be there to honor that little girl's memory? An innocent girl lost her life, yet I could do nothing to stop the evil still afoot. It's not too late to set this right. First, you must tell the people everything that happened. Then can you get a fresh start. But this time, on your own strength. That would be... impossible. I cooperated with those awful men to hide the truth. That way I could continue being mayor. There's nothing I can do. <sighs> Stand up, Mariko Hyodo! Are you just going to stay knocked down? You are a kind and strong woman, not someone who collapses over mistakes. So stand up and hold your head up high, because no matter how many times you fall, you can always get back up and start again. Isn't that... Yes. You said that to me a long time ago. Even if you told the people the truth about the incident, there are those who would still see the good in you. Don't let your position ruin you. Think back to what you stood for. She's right, Mayor. You can't give up. If you tell everyone your side of things, they'll listen. When my father died, I felt like my heart was going to break. But thanks to the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand strong and move forward. That's why I know you can, too. Remember the part of you that taught me to get back up, no matter how many times I fall. Yes. You're right. Thank you. Haruka, what I've done was wrong. I drove my employees to the brink and used a strange power to manipulate the votes. I was so driven by my personal agenda, I lost sight of how I originally felt and why I ran for mayor in the first place. To make the city beloved by everyone. To give back to the home where I was raised. That's reason enough to take another step. I won't make this mistake again. I never needed this power from the start. Haruchan, you've grown so much. Your father must be so happy in heaven. Mari-san. Happy?
That took us quite a while. Haru, you were fantastic. It was only because you were all with me. But I do wonder if Mari-san will be okay. I'd say so. Her shadow disappeared like they always do. Yeah, your feelings definitely reached her. I'm sure her heart has changed for the better. Well, I guess this wraps up the mission. We still need to confirm that the citizens are all back to normal. It'd be nice if we could do that right away. Can we grab some to eat first? I'm hungry enough to pass out here. He has a point. Battles can't be fought on an empty stomach. The battle's already over, but still. Hey, can we try Genghis Khan? That delicious lamb barbecue dish? Ooh, that's a must in Hokkaido. What? I thought we were finally getting lobster hot pot. Since when did we decide that? Why would we when it's so damn hot out? But if you think about it, isn't Genghis Khan also sort of like hot pot? No way! Isn't it supposed to be barbecue? Well, cooking Genghis Khan does require a utensil called a Genghis Khan pot. And you can't barbecue in a pot. True. Though sukiyaki is served hot pot style, its etymology does refer to grilling. I wonder why. Does it even matter? <laughs> Was that a smile just now? Yeah, straight from Sapporo, it's Beauty Thieves award-winning smile. I'm relieved too. I thought you might be weighed down by all that's happened. Indeed, she was so weighed down that she met up with our leader for a private midnight chat. Huh? Were you watching? seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo-san's holding a press conference right now. Thank you all. Oh for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed it was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and the girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> as such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as mayor. It 
seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Zenkichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep, you all did a bang-up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Mari-san. Harucha. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside when I became mayor. I wanted to protect city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself, and I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I have lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No. It's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kahochan would want. So let me say thank you, Kahochan. Thank you for saving this city, for saving my family. Marisan! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Marisan. Oh, Haru chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. Hmm. I suppose I must get going. <laughs> Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Kaho. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't! You can't just run away! You need to start over and become a mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, you stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up 
and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo transform sadness into happiness, recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You know, it seems like she really understood Hyoto's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Mario Hyoto! Like that? Uh, hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Uh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Indeed, <laughs> truly moved. You did get it, Harry. That's... It really was touching. <laughs> Are you that? Oh, are you that serious? Alright, well, end the episode right here. Like, comment, subscribe, fuck us like CB, and I'm signing.